What's up guys, hope everybody is doing well. Welcome to my channel, uh, like, subscribe, hit the notification button so you can get all this cool content. I was just checking out the arm to see how it looks from training. Man, that's been one of my hardest body parts tried to grow is the arms. Hard work trying to make them grow. Anyway, right, the topic of today is, I was looking at, uh, let's get into it. Make sure you watch this uh, video to the end for the algorithms. I was looking at the video for uh, the Tyson Fury footage and uh, basically my take on it, like I'm looking at the video and it's just like, you can't really tell how he's being hit. If he's being hit for a hook or was it the elbow? Because even that close, when you're looking up that close like, I don't know, because he was in a hustle over the guy. So how did he get that leverage elbow to hit him across the face? It just seems a bit weird, man. And now Tyson Fury, look, the guy's a master manipulator. You know? He says one thing, he means another thing. He means another thing, and says one thing. And he's all over the place. And everybody knows, I think, he doesn't live the life. Right? And he makes that he's a constant super professional. You look at the person, he's doing completely the opposite of what he's saying. And then when someone replies and says something, pulls him up on it, he blows his top, you know? And doesn't like people, uh, basically he just likes yes men, everyone's saying how fantastic he is. And, uh, and there's an excuse for everything as well, like, you know, I've got this condition or that condition or this condition. It may be, it may be. But to me, it just seems like excuses, excuses, excuses. And to me, this looks, I don't know, is this a setup? Like I was saying before, Usyk is a constant professional. He lives the life. Um, and when another guy doesn't live the life against Nagano, terrible performance. Now, if you're going to take someone lightly, he's in, in his first fight, he got put on his ass. Yeah, if you're going to take one guy, don't, don't take him seriously and not be a professional. This is what happens. This is what happens, you get complacent and you get knocked down. He's lucky he didn't knock him out. Anyway, I I don't know, it just, it's just, just a weird angle. It could be it could be a tactical ploy. I wouldn't be surprised two days later he might go, look, I'm gonna fight again. But you don't know uh, with uh, this guy. But it just looks a little bit suspect to me, to be honest with you. It doesn't look like an elbow. It doesn't look like a hook. Anyway, let's just say, that's a really deep cut across his eye. Massive gash, right? And usually them type of gashes, I've seen it in his previous fight, pouring blood out onto his face and eye immediately. There's no blood there at all, right? There's no blood on the white glove. So it looks like this is a bit of a bullshit to me, honestly. It, this cut could have even happened earlier, another time. And then he probably just wanted to see if he could carry on. Like in the fight, if it's going to be all right. So when he was training with this guy, he's got his head guard down low. You can't really see what's going on. The guy's hit him and he's probably still hurt. And that's why he's probably come out and said, look, I reckon it's an earlier cut. Maybe he's done it a week, two weeks ago. And the guy's hit him, his sparring partner's hit him. And he's hurt him and he really can't go on. So they've just come out and gone that it's just recently happened in the swearing session. But that leak video, that's fake, not fake, but it just doesn't fit what he says. Like, you know, in the uh, it doesn't fit in my mind, my opinion. From what they say in the angle, no blood on his face, there's no blood on the glove. So I just reckon that cut was done earlier. And uh Let's just see what happens. Uh, let's just see if they do for a fight for a future date. But personally, I think you should, shouldn't wait. He's been training for this fight. You should just get another opponent. Because down the line, I can't see Tyson Fury, this fight even happening down the line. Because you don't know what's going to happen in this guy's life. So who knows what's going to happen six months down the line. He could turn around and even go, you know what, I'm retiring. And just leave people on. You know, so... That's my take on it, man. It's a very suspect situation. So, but that being said, I uh, wish him a speedy, uh, I wish him a speedy recovery, and hopefully he's healthy. 
And uh, that's my take on the footage. Uh, I hope uh, like, subscribe, hit the notification button. Stay lucky, stay blessed. I'll check you on the next video.